out the door. Yeah, it's a big picture. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 And I was required to go to the United Nations headquarters in Manhattan once a month on the day of Friday, the day of the, the congregational prayer. And uh, the, the secretary general gave us the largest hall in the building, which was his reception hall. So my stay in New York for those 10 years at the United Nations headquarters in Manhattan uh, was very beneficial for me for understanding the world today. Before our interview, we gave Imran a short tour of the UN building. And while Imran recognizes the world of today, he exposes that the appearance and the actual reality are quite different from each other. Because there are so many in the world today who have eyes and yet cannot see. And as a consequence, they, are, they respond to me with uh, shock and with discomfort. <laughs> Um, and that's why there are so many uh, in the world today who have um, this particular attitude towards me, but not only to me. To all those, whether you be Christian or Jew or Hindu or Buddhist or Muslim, who seek to penetrate the reality of the world today and then to expose that reality. Imran also participated in many interfaith dialogues with Christian and Jewish scholars while representing Islam in the USA in the early 90s. He believes that today we are most certainly living in the end time. And uh, we are now on the verge of the greatest war of all in history. And I remember Pope Francis meeting with the head of the Orthodox Christian Church and both of them the leaders of this side of Christianity and that side of Christianity both made a declaration warning about the great war which is coming and seeking to try to avoid that great war. I remember that declaration of Pope Francis and Cuba, yes. in Cuba. Uh, that great war is part of the end time. The Christian knows it as Armageddon. The Muslim knows it as the Malhamah. And that great war is going to substantially reduce the population of the world. We in Islamic eschatology not only know about the great war, but we know what's going to happen after the great war. And I was pleasantly surprised to find in Christian eschatology that you also have the same view of the conquest of Constantinople, after which the Antichrist will appear in person. Imran Hossein has also worked for several years in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Government of Trinidad and Tobago. In 1985, he gave up his job to devote his life to the mission of Islam. And he would love to meet Pope Francis. I would very much love to meet with the leaders of the Roman Catholic Church uh, for a dialogue on eschatology. We need to have Christian, Muslim, Jewish dialogue, not just on what is similar between our religions and what is different, but more importantly, a, a dialogue on eschatology, on the end time. If I can meet with the Pope or with his representatives uh, for the Catholic Church, the Protestants, the Orthodox Christians, and dialogue on the subject, it would be fascinating. According to Imran, those who control the political and banking world have only darkness on their faces. But with our spiritual eyes, we can recognize someone who has light, who walks with purity. We have to try to separate those who are indeed pure from those who are not. And the Roman Catholic priest and scholar who is living purity, living the life of integrity, and who has been blessed with light. This is the man who we should reach out to in the Roman Catholic Church. Such a man will be able to recognize the oppressor. When Jesus comes back, you will see light walking on the road. Pure, pure, pure light when Jesus comes back. Yeah. And we look forward to that day in the world of Islam.
You know, we've got to look for the, the ones who truly live the religious way of life. And these must come together. And I'm grateful to you, Christian, for this opportunity to share with you these views, which I hope will now reach to the Roman Catholic Church, wherever this program is viewed, and that they may respond positively. To interview and spending the day with this wise man was truly edifying and indeed, according to Pope Francis, with Islam, dialogue is progressing well. Thank you, Christian. Thank you. God bless you. Yes.